Hello again, my name is John Hampshire and I coach runners and cyclists, mostly training for long distance events. Claire and I provide coaching for people all over the world with a competitive mindset that are working towards challenging goals. We use a combination of internet based tools for uh, tracking and uh, analysing your training data and for one to one meetings where we get to know you so that we can provide the best support possible, helping you develop both your mental and physical fitness in a sustainable and healthy way. I'll be posting a video every Tuesday, so please like and subscribe so they get informed. Training for endurance sports, well in fact most sports, in fact most things in life, is about building positive cycles, building positive habits, so that you get the most from the time you have available to train and develop your fitness. Most of the endurance sports training applications like Strava and Training Peaks use some form of impulse response model. This was developed by Bannister, not Roger Bannister, but a chap called Bannister, and all it means is that uh, you do something, a training session or something like that, the impulse, and uh, your body and your mind respond to it, the response. What this really means is that you, you do a training session, as long as it's hard enough to make you tired, you, uh, you get tired, and then you recover from it. And during that recovery process, your body adapts. And if you balance these training sessions and recoveries in a good way, you create a positive cycle where you build fitness, and if you don't balance them in a good way, you either lose fitness or don't gain fitness, or worse, you get overly tired and you potentially end up in an overtraining situation. So the trick's in creating these positive cycles. The response you get is specific to the training session you do, the load that you apply. And that's the rule of specificity, which is one of the rules of training. So if you do that right, you build fitness. If you don't train enough or you don't train hard enough, then the rule of reversibility comes into play. You get less fit and you get very good at sitting on the settee or couch watching television, but you don't get very good at riding your bike or running. And if you do too much training or you don't have enough recovery, then you end up in an overtraining situation. And if you keep doing that for a long period of time, you can end up with chronic overtraining, which is definitely not what you want. You could have to take weeks, months, or um, even years for some people off to recover from that. So there are three possible outcomes. Increased fitness, reduced fitness, overtraining. And one of these is obviously the goal, to build fitness. The best way to build fitness is to build a healthy, sustainable routine, creating good habits, doing similar things on similar days each week, incrementally building fitness as you work hard, recover, work hard, recover. So you have hard days and easy days and you have hard weeks and easy weeks and during each block of training you work on a specific area. Say you were trying to build endurance for a, a couple of months, you might you would do that, focus on endurance, see whether your endurance has improved, see whether you can ride for longer or run for longer. You want to improve your FTP or your critical pace, do a couple of months on that. And in that way you maintain your strengths and develop your weakness, weak areas so that you perform better in your event. And the most effective way to do this is not only to just have a good training routine where you train hard and recover effectively, but that's all supported by having a good life routine, a good work-life balance, a good sleep routine, a good nutritional pattern, and all these things feed into each other and compound so that you can make bigger gains because you recover faster, you can work hard more frequently, and then you can recover faster and your fitness builds. And as your fitness builds, you can work harder and, uh, and, you, and your fitness builds faster. It all works together and it's all in routines and the good habits. It's important to bear in mind that there aren't any magic training sessions and doing a big hit of training and then trying to recover from it isn't the best way to go. It's best to train hard enough, just hard enough to create a response. And you build your fitness incrementally, bit by bit taking your time. One of the ways I like to look at it is that you can't force yourself to get fitter. You can provide some stimulus and then you have to wait for your body to respond. So it's a case of providing the stimulus in an effective way and then recovering and adapting as quickly as possible. It's not really a forcing process, it's a, a creation of good habits and a good routine that makes you get fitter. It might be a bit boring, but that's the fastest way to get fitter in a sustainable and healthy way. And I know a lot of people that have approached me have just tried to follow training sessions or training plans on things like Zwift or Trainer Road. And they work really well for a short period of time because they're quite hard. And if you train hard for a short period of time, you build fitness quite quickly. But if you keep trying to train hard for a long period of time, you start to get overtrained and you lose fitness. So it's important to not do too many high intensity sessions, not do too many interval sessions, 
build your volume carefully and do a good proportion of low intensity training so that you get a good base and you can build on that with harder work and also increase the volume over time. If you don't have much time, if you're so-called time crunched, you still need to create a sensible balance and a sensible routine. Because if you are time crunched, you might not be able to devote as much time to recovery either. And also, people can only withstand a certain amount of hard training, of high intensity training, of interval sessions. Because a hard interval session, it might take you three or four days to recover from it. But during that recovery process, you can know that you're adapting and your fitness is building. If you don't recover from it, you don't adapt and your fitness doesn't build. I know I'm repeating myself, but it's really important to bear in mind that you just need to do enough to upset your body to make it adapt and then wait for a, a bit of adaptation to come through and, and recover a bit and then do it again. And then because you're training from a higher position, a, a slightly higher fitness level, it's only very slightly higher, you build in a bit more fitness and it all goes up in steps. And it, it's amazing how quickly actually it happens if you just let your body adapt to the training you're doing and don't do too much. So it's worth spending some time thinking and probably making a list of what personality traits and habits you have that contribute to positive cycles, positive gains in fitness, and also what personality traits and habits you have that might cause things to go off track, things that might derail your training. You might get distracted by things because you think, well, I should I should be working now. That's one of the things I do is sometimes think oh, I should do this work rather than do my training. And then time moves on uh, to a point where I don't have time to do the training or I can't be bothered to do the training because I've got other things or I've just had enough for the day. I don't have the mental capacity to put the training in. So one thing that I do, uh, and I, th I know it works for a lot of people, is I, I know that I'd create a routine, a daily routine, where I always train at a certain time of day. And that, that's really effective because, you know, that's part of your day, it becomes a habit. And, uh, and you know you always do it then. So if you don't actually train at that time of day because you need to, you're on a rest day or something like that, well, you can use that time for something else. But if it's allocated, you've got it there and you can use it. So protecting your time for training is important and protecting your time for personal development and your protecting time for recovery is important. And then it's just a case of getting started. Get your routine, try it out for a few weeks, make small changes, find things that aren't working for you, get rid of them find things that are working for you, do more of them. Obviously don't do too much, otherwise you might overdo it. And then you, in that way, you're gradually, incrementally getting better and better, fitter and fitter. But bear in mind, you're trying to get better and better and fitter and fitter towards certain goals. So maybe reevaluate your goals from time to time and how you're performing relative to the needs of your event and your life. It's about mindfulness. I mentioned that in the last video. Mindfulness, when you do mindfulness breathing, you focus on your breathing, but your mind always wanders off and thinks about other things. And then you just nudge it gently back on track. And you might find techniques that work well for you and some techniques don't work well for you. And in, the, in your training and your routines, you will, you know, things will go wrong. Obviously, they always go wrong. Uh, things will knock you off track. But the trick is not to let things drop, knock you off track long term. Just get yourself, nudge yourself back onto that routine. I'd love to know what personality traits and habits work well for you what things don't work well for you. Perhaps we can start a conversation in the comments that will uh, move everybody forward and we can all learn from each other. If you want to contact me personally, there's a link in the description where you can book a, a free one-to-one -one chat to discuss your goals and your training and I'll help you along the way. There's no commitment either way, but uh, if we can work with you more formally, obviously that would be great. Please like and subscribe, make some comments let us know what other things you might be interested in, where we can help you build your fitness. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.